Have you ever wanted to build a server in Rust? Well, if you have, then today's your lucky day because I'm going to be talking about Rocket.RS. Rocket.RS is this pretty cool little framework for creating secure, safe servers in Rust. It's pretty similar in use to Python Flask or Sinatra for Ruby, except it's written in Rust. So it's compiled, it is memory safe, and well, you know it's Rust. So let's go ahead and check it out. All right, first thing you're gonna to wanna to do, I have gone into my project folder here that I've created. Now, the first thing you do for like every Rust project, just go ahead and run cargo init. All right, and now once you've done that, if we go ahead and open up the IDE here, we'll see we have .git, source, git ignore, and cargo.toml. So to include rocket.rs, we're gonna go into cargo.toml and just go ahead and include it manually here. I think the latest version is 0.4.2, but if you're watching this in the future, definitely go check out Cargo before you actually like put in this version. Okay, and next, just to start off, I'm gonna go ahead and copy this little code here. So that way we can make sure it works with what's supposed to actually work. All right, and I know we don't actually need this. We can just say use rockets everything. That's actually from an older version of Rust. So what I'm realizing with the rocket site here is this, all the code here was actually built on an older version of Rust. And I can see why that's the case because Rust seems to be getting a ton of new features. It's still a relatively new language at the time of recording this. So, you know, I can sort of get why they would have a lot of that old stuff in there. And we're gonna see something about compiling it in just a minute. But let me make sure this works real quick. Okay. So if I run Rust C version, it shows you I'm on Nightly. Now, usually I'm on the default stable toolchain, uh, but Rust up, at least this version, when it compiles, it requires something called pair, which is another Rust package. And pair apparently can only be compiled with the Nightly compiler toolchain. So if you run Rust C version and it comes out to not be Nightly, go ahead and run Rust up override Nightly or sorry, rust up override set nightly. There we go. You can also go ahead and set stable, right? Which is what I would normally use. So if I do rust C now, it's just stable. But I'm gonna go ahead and set it to nightly. And that'll set it for a specific directory that you're inside of. So here for server to RS, this project specifically, I'm gonna use nightly. Now, if I were to open up my home directory and do rust C version, I'm not using nightly, I'm using just default. All right, so now that we have Nightly, you're gonna go ahead and run cargo build. Or actually, let's go ahead and run cargo run. Run basically just does build and it actually activates your executable that it creates. Now, I've already run this off camera and I'm just gonna, after you run this command, I'm gonna switch over to that version because my computer likes to fan itself off after running cargo build. So, I'll see you guys. Okay, I hope you guys have all run cargo build or cargo run. I'm going to do the same now in this new old directory, the one where I've already downloaded all the dependencies. So I'm gonna run cargo run. All right, so we've compiled and actually runs it. So what Rocket does is it's gonna launch us on localhost 800, all right? So I'm gonna walk you through this code here before we actually go and take a look at it. This is gonna be a lot easier to understand, probably trivial if you've come from Flask or Sinatra. So basically you're gonna have this little hashtag thing here. I think they're called macros in Rust. I'm not, I haven't gotten too much into the like macros stuff in this language, but you know, I can only assume they work like annotations in Java or like compiler commands in C or C++. So you can say get, and then you can give it what looks like a URL path. So it's the slash hello API that we're gonna be giving an endpoint on, and then you can give it a name and an age. And it'll correspond to this function right here because it's right below it, just like in Flask. And name has to be a string, age has to be a 8-bit unsigned integer, and it's gonna return you a string. So basically it has this format function, which is, you know, you just put stuff into a string and it gives age a name, puts into the string here and returns it. And then main here just starts up the rocket API and then it'll mount your actual, well, your functions here into whatever sort of like root directory you want on the server and then we'll go ahead and start it with launch. So now that we've run it, let's go to localhost 800, 8,000, sorry. And nothing found because the only API, the only endpoint that we've uncovered was this right here. So let's go ahead and do 
slash hello slash Alex slash 20. And there we go. We had this little bit of text, exactly what Rocket said it would give us. So what happens if we try and break it? So I'm going to say slash 17. Okay, well, in this case, it could actually just put a string that represents a number. So that's not too bad. But what if we try to break this by saying it's way more than what a U8 can hold? There we go. Then it just gives us 404. So the server's not going to crash here. The really cool thing about Rocket is that it's pretty secure because of Rust's compiledness and type safety. So they've really covered most of their bases with this one. So what do we give it a negative one? Same, 404 not found. What if I say my name is Alexander? 404 not found. So with Rocket, it's going to be actually pretty hard to break these servers. Unless if you yourself introduce some code that would break it. So yeah, we've got hello, 20 year old named Alex. All right, so I'm gonna mess up around a bit more with some of this stuff and we're gonna see what else we can do with this. Okay, so I've changed a few of those API endpoints there. So we're gonna rerun Cargo Rust, if I could spell it correctly. All right, and we're gonna retry this. Yeah, so now it actually can't find what's what we had before because we no longer have the age in there, if you saw what I took out. All right, welcome to our server, Alex, and then, you know, bye, come again soon. So, you know, nothing too much. Rust, rocket.rs can handle get requests really well. If you actually take a look at their website, you'll see they can also run post requests and they can also handle JSON really easily. I won't be going over all that because it's just like a quick intro. But I probably will be showing you how to write a few like cool API services in Rocket in the future. And if you look here, you'll be able to see like all the results of when you actually access the site. So, okay. And that's all we have today for Rocket.rs in the Rust programming language. If you'd like to learn more, like say post requests or JSON parsing, you can actually find it on the website right here. And I will be going over a little bit of it probably in some later videos when I decide to make some cool APIs. Uh, apart from that, if you enjoyed the video, please consider giving me a like, share, comment, subscribe, follow my social media, or click the notification bell so that way you never miss out when I upload a new video. If you would like to continue watching, I have a few other videos around the screen here. Apart from that, thank you all so much for watching, and I will see you guys next time.